Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're kicking off the 12 days of Christmas with a Christmas skull. If you want to see how I created this look, make sure you stay tuned. First, we're going to jump right in with the Mayron's Clown Paint. We're going to use a beady sponge and we're just going to press it all over the face. You really don't want to use anything else to apply this just so that you can pat it into the consistency or the pigmentation that you want and then it'll stay where you want it. This stuff is pretty thick um, so it's not going to budge a whole lot but you also don't want to put too much on and you don't want to be swiping anywhere at all. Next we're going with Mayron's Setting Powder in Neutral and we're just going to pat that into my more problem areas and then I'm going to use a fluffy brush on the rest of my face to apply this. I found that these this powder works best with the clown paint um, for whatever reason but if you overuse on the powder that is a-okay. Just make sure you brush any of the excess off before you start applying any other makeup to the face. Next, we're going in with Mayron's Paradise Paints and their basic palette. This gives you all the basic primary colors. You can obviously mix them as needed, but we're going in and we're going to use this for all the body paints you will see in the video today that we're doing. So the greens, the reds, the browns, the whites. I think that covers everything. I think there's some orange, some blue. There's even a light green in here where I mixed the white and the green as well, but these are amazing body paints. Um, I've tried a few just to figure out what I like best and these are definitely best hands down and I think the palette is only 40 bucks and there's a good amount of product in here it smells great it does not harm my skin like the other ones I've had really dry my face out and they're really uncomfortable over time but these have smell like coconut um, so they're really beneficial for your skin and they don't irritate my skin if I have to wear them for long periods of time so highly recommend them but uh, back to what we're doing. Here we are just painting on the brows for uh, a clown. They're more theatrical brows, so I'm going in with a little bit of a flare. But we're doing a lot of opposites on this face for the eye work and the brows. So you'll see that the brows are opposite, and then the eye work for eyeshadows will be opposite as well. It is eye time, baby, and we're going to use the Unleash Your Inner Artist collab with Morphe and James Charles. The first color we're going to use in our crease is Code James. I'm just going to pat that into both our creases real evenly, real quickly, just so we have a color to start with. Like I said, we're doing a lot of opposites here. So our green brow, that eye is getting the You're Kidding shade from the palette. And we're just going to go in and kind of create a halo eye here. But these are the two colors we're using on this eye. And then we're going to blend them in real seamless. And then on this eye, we're going in with Daddy to create that halo eye. We're just going to build up the color. A lot of padding motion, not so much swiping, just to build it up and actually intensify the color and make sure it sticks. You do swiping, you do more blending, and sometimes you lose some of that color. We want it to stay and stick, so pat away. Here we are just adding your kidding to our bottom lash line just to finish off the eye a little bit before we go in and put a little pop of color on the lid. Again, adding dye to that lower lash line before we add that color to that lid as well. Just make sure you blend these out a little bit so they're not such a harsh line on that bottom lid. 
or bottom lower lash line. So both, for both of the woods, we're just going in with the tart shape tape. And I'm going to cut this a little bit and then we're going to add ring light to give it a kind of little pop on the lid. If you want to intensify this color, generally using uh, glitter glue will help give it a little bit more pop, more intensity. Um, but I didn't want to do it too intense as our face was going to be pretty busy on this look. But just another tip, you can use glitter glue to intensify some of the shimmers and metallics and any palette that you're using but for this I just went at a little pop and then blended out a smidge my focal area was not my eyes it was everything else that was going to be on my face so we just went in and added a little something so the eyes weren't dull I wanted them to have some pizzazz with the look again back to look we cut the crease I patted on ring light the eyeshadow from the palette then I took that red color, which is your kidding, blended in the edges, and now I'm taking your kidding again atop that cross that line that we cut, and I'm just intensifying it to create that more defined crease line. And here we are starting on the other eye, um, cutting that crease. We're gonna set it again with ring light, then we're gonna blend in the edges with daddy, and then define that cut crease again with daddy. Here we are going back to the body paints. I've mixed white and the green color from Paradise Body Paint from Mayron. I'm just creating the trees around the eyes. I put the dots so I make sure they were lined up and straight and I'm just slowly building up the trees and I'll fill them in just a little bit. While the trees are drying, I wanted to move on and work on the peppermint on the nose. So I'm just outlining the white where it would be and then I'm gonna fill it in and let that dry. Here I am just going in with the yellow and we're going to add some stars to the top of our trees and then we're going to add little dots of color as if they were ornaments or maybe they're just little lights on the tree and then we'll go through the white and just do like there's strands of lights across the trees as well and if you can't tell I'm using extremely small brushes these are Royal and Lamb Nickel actually paint brushes but they're great for body painting um, and doing extremely small details I picked them up at Hobby Lobby um, but they're absolutely amazing brushes to use for any body painting or any detailed work in the makeup world anyways here we are just drawing the lines on for our peppermint and then we're going to fill them in I don't know about y'all, but I'm getting pumped. <laughs> so here we are, we're gonna start mapping out where our peppermint clown lips will be. I did add a hint of pink to this white because I one, wanted to see where it was gonna be. Two, I didn't wanna blend in with the clown face paint. Um, and three, a little bit of pink with the red is not gonna hurt nobody. So here I am going with the body paint, just mapping it out. We will then fill it all in and then we'll add the lines. I 
here we are going with a small brush adding in these lines now I didn't just do the thick regular peppermint lines I did some thin ones as well these are not as, as easy as they look and they might look decent in the video but I promise you these lines looked pretty to me awful I was not pleased with them at all um, but it is what it is we always have rooms to improve in working on lines like these it's definitely an area it's hard to get an angle I overdrew my lips on purpose because that's what I wanted but when you're doing these curves on your face it makes those lines even harder to achieve as well so they looked good in the video um, so we went with it but I also really love the look overall so as an artist we always have somewhere to improve and I have no problems admitting my flaws so there you have it does anybody remember those like snow cap candies the chocolate ones the little white sprinkles all over them that's what I was going for in this I hope that's what it looks like I'm just adding a few little round chocolates around my eyes to go with the crown effect again and then I added the little white dots it's only the other candy I could think of that would go with this that wasn't a bunch of color I, we had already done so much color and I wanted something different I'm like what else goes with Christmas I'm like chocolates do but what chocolates would go with this I'm like snow caps we need some snow caps so that's what I did here we are just doing some little like white bursts at the end of our candy cane clown mustache mouth thing thing <laughs> which I like because it pulled in some of the red and kind of ombre it out Last minute, I decided we need to contour the face up a little bit. I just took a few of the shades from the Unleash Your Inner Artist palette and just contoured up the face and warmed it up just a smidge. That way we weren't looking super flat. I think we definitely needed it though. So here is the final look from our Christmas clown from our first look from the 12 days of Christmas. I hope you guys love this. I'm trying to get in the Christmas spirit a little bit. It's a little hard this season, but I do love this look. I love the way it came out, how fun it was to create, but I hope you guys love it as much as I do. Um, please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more of our looks from the 12 days of Christmas. I will be uploading a new Christmas tutorial for the 12 days of Christmas every day at 11. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Love you guys. I'll see you in my next tutorial.